A man was detained after attempting to flee from Florida to London on a makeshift hamster wheel. A Florida guy who attempted to use a handmade hamster wheel to run across the Atlantic Ocean to London has been detained. Reza Bellucci, 44-year-old, was discovered by the U.S. Coast Guard, USCG, on August 26 off the coast of Georgia. He reportedly claimed he wanted to continue to the UK. By court records, the USCG determined that the homemade watercraft was manifestly unsafe and was only kept afloat by buoys and wiring. He set off on his journey just days before Hurricane Franklin, which peaked at a Category 4 storm, made landfall in the Caribbean and headed for the US. However, Mr. Bellucci resisted getting off the boat for three days before officials were able to safely remove him and bring him back to land two days later, according to court documents. Bellucci informed the USCG officers that he had a Florida registration on board his vessel, but he was unable to locate it, court documents state. He also advised USCG officers his intended destination was London, England. According to the records, Mr. Bellucci demonstrated to authorities that he was armed with two knives measuring 12 inches and that he would try to murder himself if they tried to remove him. Officers stayed at the scene, and Mr. Bellucci allegedly threatened to blow himself up the following day, on August 27. According to the records, the USCG stated that they believed this to be a valid threat, as he possessed cables in his hand. Before he revealed the threat was a hoax on August 28, shortly after officers attempted to bring food and water, this caused officers to summon in bomb disposal experts. The documents added. USCG officers again ordered Bellucci off the vessel, but he again refused. It was then that Bellucci informed the USCG officers that the bomb was not real. Officers pulled Mr. Bellucci off the ship on August 29 and into a small boat before bringing him onshore on September 1. According to the documents, this was Mr. Bellucci's most recent encounter with the Coast Guard. Prior encounters with the agency allegedly involved a homemade vessel in 2014, 2016, and 2021.